Hey everyone, you may notice right away that I've changed the video so it's pre-recorded and then afterwards I added my voiceover. I wanted to try something new and see if it makes for a better experience, so let me know if I should continue doing this or if I should go back to how I previously recorded walkthroughs. Anyways, today we're going to be doing the Lost Thieves Guild Dungeon. All you need is a sword, a bow, with maybe like a stack or so of arrows, and some potions. It really requires very minimal gear, and it's a pretty good gear up for iron armor, sugar, and nades. This dungeon is really not hard at all, and should be a cakewalk once you learn the layout of where things are. As long as you don't linger in certain areas for too long, then you should be fine, and very few pigmen will spawn. The first area of this dungeon is simple. You just have to climb up and push a button and let a waterfall down, which you'll then ascend. Walk down this little tunnel, and you'll arrive in the sewers area. This area is a lot of normal zombies that may feel overwhelming, but they look more scary than they actually are. Just kill them and keep running. Remember that if you're playing in a Minecraft version with fast swimming, that you might actually look like you're one block high, but in the MindZ server, it actually makes you two blocks tall. So that's probably why you're gonna get stuck and glitch in the water. Once you go under the iron bars, go to the end and push the stone button to unblock the next area. And then you'll backtrack past the iron bars and take a right to the corridor with moving blocks. This area is pretty weird and kind of unintuitive. So if you're standing where a block appears, you'll likely be pushed off towards the middle. And if you stand on a dropper or a dispenser looking block, then it'll TP you towards the middle. If you fall down, there will be pigment spawners that'll spawn pigmen. So just don't panic and make sure that you find your way to the piston. They'll launch you back up to retry that area. Just jump over the TP box and wait in the safe areas by the stairs and the wall and you should be good with this. Once you finish, take a left in the next sewer hallway and go to the end of the stairs directly in front of you. You'll need to do some parkour to get higher and don't stick around too long or the pigmen by the wither school will start to spawn. You'll want to jump across the pillars to the opening in the wall and push the stone button. And then you'll parkour back to the right side of the room and make sure you have enough help to drop down and stand on the stone pressure plate. This will open a door underwater, which you'll swim to directly across from where the pressure plate is. This is timed, but it gives you plenty of time, so I wouldn't worry about it. The timer for the four trials doesn't start until you finish one of them, so you should probably do one of the longer trials first. Shoot the wooden button by the ceiling and now you're officially in the Lost Thieves Guild. There will be four trials that you'll have to do, and three of the four trials are located to your left when entering. Don't stick around the western area for too long since there's a pigment spawner. Enter the first room gap to your right and shoot the hidden wooden button in the little hole. This will open the iron bars to your right, and you will run down the hallway to push a stone button. If you look through the iron bars at the lava, there should now be a path that will let you cross. Now you can go back to the main room and go into the northern hallway and cross the lava path. Go down the super long staircase and quickly get through the narrow passage. There's a pigment spawner, so don't wait around there. Run across the table, climb the vines, and stand towards the middle area so that way you can see 
the wooden button across the room that's shrouded by vines. Shoot an arrow at it, then shoot an arrow at the pressure plate on the table, and this will open a hole in the floor that you can drop into. Once you press the button on the gold block, your five minute timer to complete the rest of the trial begins. Five minutes might not seem like a lot, but it's more than plenty of time to complete all of them. After most trials, you'll be spat out into the main hub area, which is floating over lava. Then just climb the stairs back up and go back to the western area with all the trials and go to the one that is farthest down to the right. Be quick because this is right next to the pigment spawner and will spawn a pigment. Shoot the button again and go through. Push the stone button in the middle of the lamps and fall down into the water. This next part you definitely want to be careful. Avoid the pressure plates by jumping over them. If you step on it, a horde of zombies will spawn, and those zombies will step on pressure plates, spawning another horde that will spawn even more and more. Just don't step on it. If you do, you can just snowball to stun them and quickly escape. Make sure to sprint to lure out the pigment that we spawn before so it doesn't get you when you're walking up. Go to the western hallway for the last time and enter the first room to the left. Shoot the button. and go past the pressure plate. Every few seconds, a fire charge will shoot out, but it does only a heart or so of damage and can be avoided by timing it and just running all the way after they shoot. Push the button and go back to the water and swim up. Press the button to finish the third trial. Now you're almost done. Go back to the main room and head over to the eastern area. Quickly go through the room with the grass blocks, press the stone button to open the iron door, and shoot an arrow at the trap door on the corner with the jungle stair. Go out quickly so pigmen don't spawn, and you can go down the staircase that's now opened. This last trial might be one of the more dangerous ones, so take your time if you need to. You have to jump between pressure plates and reach the gold block. If you step on a red one, you can get hit with an instant damage potion that takes away nearly a third of your health. If you step on a green one, you'll get hit with poison that can last for almost a minute and a half. Now shoot the gold block with wooden buttons and press the other one near you and jump to the exit. You see that waterfall that's going down the middle? Well, congrats. That means you've beaten all four trials. Swim down it and make your way to the loot room. The first of the two legendaries you get in this dungeon is the Robber's Blade, which breaks when you hit a player, but it steals an item from their hotbar. I think the Robber's Blade is more of a troll item, since it has a 1 in 9 chance to steal your opponent's main weapon from their hotbar, but it isn't very reliable. I've actually seen it happen in PvP before, and it's hilarious when your enemy doesn't have another weapon. The second item is the Ninja Sandals, which are Protection 1 Chain Boots that give you Speed 2 when hit. Anyways, that's about all from this dungeon. Thank you all very much for watching, and maybe I'll make some more MindZ videos when I feel like it. Thanks, and bye.